We're in the tow truck. We're taking the roll back all the way to Wagner, South Dakota. We are headed up there to buy a 2010 Jeep JKU that we're gonna build into our own rock crawler. It's gonna be a big build. You're gonna to wanna to stick around to watch that. We're getting 42 inch stickies from BFG. We're gonna be putting fusion axles under the thing. We've got tons of stuff we wanna do. We're gonna sell a lot of parts off this Jeep to try to fund the charger. If you don't know what the charger is, you're gonna to wanna to go back through the archives and check out the charger videos. Once we hit a million subscribers, the giveaway is gonna start. We're gonna give away a 69 Dodge Charger, 440, four on the floor, fully restored, all the good stuff, painted, looking good, drive that thing anywhere you want. We took off this morning, we're on our way. I just got a phone call from our buddy, Rudy Wetzel. Go check out Rudy's YouTube channel, link in the description. We're gonna stop and have lunch with him, Janelle, and Colin. They're on an epic adventure. We are headed to my favorite place to eat, Bam Bam's Barbecue. You guys haven't ate there? You need to go check it out. It's the best barbecue around. If you're ever in the Orem area, you definitely want to check them out. Look them up. Found you the barbecue pig. Yep. So we got done eating. We're going to get back in the truck and head for South Dakota. Will you guys drive safe? You too. Yeah. Super awesome truck for Colin. Make sure you guys go check that out. We're gonna go get us a project now. Have fun with that, good luck. Thank yeah. you. We are finally on the road to South Dakota, but we had to stop up in Salt Lake and pick us up a stray cat. Meow. Since Hillbilly's not here, I needed somebody to drive for me. So Ernie came, he's such a trooper. And we're just excited to have him on board. I'm excited to drive. Yeah, let me add it, let me add it. Our next stop in Evanston. We've got a long drive ahead of us. All right, we made it to Evanston, Wyoming. I think I've had all the driving I can handle. Ernie is gonna be driving for me. You betcha. So that's why we brought him. So we're gonna top this thing off so Ernie can just drive for the next 250 miles. The downfall of these F-550s is they have a 25 gallon tank. So they are constantly needing to be refueled. We decided not to go the whole way tonight. So we're stopping in Sydney, Nebraska, and we got us a room. What time is it? One o'clock? One o'clock in the morning. Are you ready for bed? Yeah. Okay, let's go. All right, well, we're gonna get to bed, so it is tomorrow. It is the next morning, so we are leaving the Comfort Inn in Sydney, Nebraska. We're gonna go get some fuel in the tow truck, make our way to North Platte, and then we're going straight up to Wagner, South Dakota. Everybody slept good. We got Adley carrying her bag. Ernie in the back. By the way, Ernie is not my father. Ernie is just a friend. We made it to our favorite place to fuel up. We're at a Love's truck stop. Ernie cut the RV off next to us. If that thing was a little bit smaller, he would have been able to see it, but he didn't. I don't know what to say. I couldn't even see the guy. He was so big, I couldn't see. <laughs> now, we're gonna forgive you this time. We're gonna go ahead and get some drinks and we're gonna get on our way to South Dakota. POV, you're in the back seat. This is the back seat POV. We just did some checking on the old Instagram and we found out that there was a big car show in North Platte, Nebraska. So we're gonna be swinging in there, checking out some cars, doing some fun things. It's gonna be a little bit of a pit stop, but we figured, you know what? We made it this far. We might as well go see if they got any chargers. There might even be some of you fans there. You never know, we'll go check it out. If you see us, make sure and say hi, even though this will be weeks after the car show. <laughs> We found my friend Preston. He's in a Cadillac in front of us. Braden and Riker decided that they wanted to go ride with him. Oh yeah. All right, these Roadrunners, this is right up my alley. This is a cool car. All right, so we found something pretty cool here in North Platte. We found a Diesel Brother giveaway truck that we painted. These are the people that won the giveaway. So if you guys don't believe in giveaways on YouTube, this is living proof that they actually received a giveaway vehicle. Just like the giveaway we're gonna be doing on our channel with the Charger. One of you guys is gonna win it, just like one of them won it from the Diesel Brothers. You guys didn't know because I've never talked to you guys about it, but I used to paint a few vehicles for Diesel Brothers. We'll show you guys kind of the process. I've got a few things on my cell phone that I took while we did this, but this was pre-YouTube, so. I didn't film any of it, but this truck still looks as good as it did the day we got done with it. Pretty excited. This made stopping in North Platte completely worth it. Yeah. I think we might need to build one of these. What do you think? Should we build us a wheelbarrow go-kart? Please say yes, please. All right, so I think I found the coolest vehicle here at the car show today. This is a 68 Charger RT. It's not a 69, but it's still just as cool. This is what the giveaway car is gonna end up looking like. Maybe not this color, 
maybe not a blower, who knows? It's up to you guys, but these are my absolute most favorite cars ever made. I just love the Chargers. Pretty excited I got to see this one. The car show's been super cool. We got to see the giveaway vehicle that we painted for Diesel Brothers. It's in there. We met the people that want it. Talked to Diesel Dave. Thank you, North Platte. That was a cool car show, but it's time to go. Awesome car show. Awesome, awesome. Something cool just happened. We are in BFE in the middle of Nebraska at a Sinclair called Norm's Auto. They came out and told us, all we gotta do is take a picture of what we pump, we go inside and pay. I wish the world was still this way. It's all on the honor oh, system. Wow. That's old stuff. Zeroed Zero. out. Look at that. We zeroed it right out. And it runs fast. We just crossed the Port Randall Dam and we saw the Missouri River. So we're getting close to Wagner, South Dakota. We'll check out this Jeep and get it loaded and turn right around and keep driving. You guys going crazy yet? Yes. <laughs> yes! Hey, dude, nice to meet you, Derek. Not his dad. Yeah, not his dad. Yeah. <laughs> just he, just, he won't take a, admission on it. Yeah. I am his dad. He wishes. All right, so after two days of solid driving, like a thousand miles, we made it. This is Derek Marks. He's the owner of the Jeep currently that we're gonna buy. And he's gonna tell us kind of a little bit about what happened to it. Yeah, the, the Jeep started on fire. We were hanging out as a family and, you know, had a supercharger on it. Sometimes those can either be really good or really bad. It just happened to be really bad this time. So it's a little burnt up, it's a little toasty, a little fried. But even still, I mean, for being a fire, it's not. Yeah. Definitely not the worst I've ever seen. Obviously the battery doesn't turn over, so can no we just jump, Can we jump start it? We'll just uh, like plug wires wherever. But the interior is in great shape. It's got yeah. the washout floors. It's got the steel front and back, so cool. I'm sure you're gonna tear it down and it looks good. I think it's a perfect canvas for what we need. It's gonna be perfect for an LS swap. We're gonna put 42 stickies on it, some fusion axles, new Hepta manufacturing, front and rear bumpers, some rock sliders. We're gonna do the whole treatment on this thing. We've got a lot of good usable parts. So if anybody needs some 2010 upgraded parts, message us. We've got axles, tires, wheels, bumpers. We've got a bunch of stuff. We're gonna be selling the top, possibly selling the doors, because we're gonna be trying to get some money to buy parts for that charger. But yeah, this thing is awesome. I mean, it's bad. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, it's, it's bad, but it's really good. After their long trip here, they made it to what's called the Ahokdawan Makoche. That's this right here, that means homelands. That means the Yankton Sioux tribe. That's where they made it to here in South Dakota on the way Eastern side. He held this Jeep for us for almost two months. So that was super awesome and I appreciate it. He was cool enough to be willing to work with us around our crazy schedule. And with that, traditionally, we usually give a gift out of a good friendship. This is some hand-picked sage oh, cool. from our area. You burn it and it usually clears bad spirits or it's just supposed to invite a welcoming presence into your area. So what I do, if you look at my car, it's got the big sage bundle on the dash. That's how we do it. And yeah. it's usually supposed to be uh, protection or a way of just uh, goodness coming awesome. forth. Yeah. I will put it on the dash we'll for the entire way the home and then we'll drive back. Yeah. yeah. And we'll figure out something cool to do with it. And I really appreciate yeah. it. We didn't get anything mm. as cool as that, but I have you a shirt. Dude. Perfect. And then a hat of your choice. I like them both. I'm gonna give you both, since you like them both. Yeah. And then here's two stickers. That's oh, to remember man. us. So if anybody else wants a shirt and a hat and a sticker, let us know what you got for sale. We're always looking for cool stuff. Don't burn up a Jeep though. Yeah, don't, don't, don't burn yeah, up you, a Jeep. You, you don't have to burn up your Jeep like he did in order for me to buy your cool stuff. <laughs> While we were over with Derek, signing the title and getting everything squared away, I noticed out of the corner of my little eye, a 68 Dodge Charger. So he's calling the owner of this body shop and we're gonna hopefully go back there and take a look at it once we get this loaded up. So let's we'll turn and get the Jeep loaded because we have more important stuff to do. We're gonna grab some straps, get this thing all strapped down, and then Derek made a phone call and we are allowed to go check that car out. Unfortunately, it's not for sale, but we're gonna go look at it anyways. I never got a rocket, man. I never got to do any crawling. How about once we get it done, you come out to Utah and yeah. we'll let you drive it. That yeah. would be awesome. We're gonna go check out the Charger. This car is almost spitting image of my 69 RT that's sitting out back of my shop that needs quarter panels and an entire front end. Maybe that's a thing for the chargers. <laughs> Holy moly, Robbie, check it out. There's three chargers in here, not two. This is like an eighth of a charger. <laughs> has, a, has a good wing window. There is number four. Oh, this one's a 68 also. 
we've gotten our charger fix for the day. Well, maybe not, but we've got a lot of charger intake, so we're gonna be hitting the road fulfilled. So let's In get on the road. Yard. All right, so we are on the road. We got done with Derek and we got the Jeep loaded. We stopped and got some food in Pilkington, South Dakota at the Roadhouse Pub and Grill. We met a guy named Bert. Awesome. You want to talk about some dang good food? This man works seven days a week. He's been there 27 years and he has zero employees. He got our food out to us faster than a big chain restaurant and it was way, way better. All the food was hot. If you guys are ever passing Pilkington, South Dakota, you stop in and see Bert, tell him Robbie sent you. Actually, didn't even tell him my name. I just told him how awesome his food was. Man, it was good. Next stop is going to be Rapid City for the night and then tomorrow morning we're hitting Mount Rushmore. So, see you when we get there. After an entire day of driving, we made it to Rapid City and we found a place to sleep. We're tired, so it's tomorrow. Good breakfast this morning. Hadley. Good morning. All right, we're just gonna eat some breakfast and then we're off to Mount Rushmore. We're gonna head over, get some fuel, and we are on our way to Mount Rushmore. And then we're driving for an entire day to get home. Ernie can't even wait. Yay! I don't know if it's a driving or if it's getting home. Ernie's just sick of being a babysitter to four kids. <laughs> no, so. they've been great. He didn't catch the four kids reference. Oh, one of them wasn't so good. <laughs> yeah. Look, there it is. Oh, I can Jefferson, see it. Are you guys excited? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Now we more. Kids all had to be woken up, so they're not too excited. We're finally here, and it's super boring, though. We finally made it. Now it's time to leave. All that driving for five seconds. Super cool. Awesome. Kids got to see Mount Rushmore for the first time. I've been there a couple times. Ernie's been there back in the 1840s. Horse and buggy. We are on the road headed for Custer, South Dakota, where we are gonna go meet up with Colt from Bleepin' Jeep. What are we going on? Uh, we're lost. Lost in South Dakota? Yeah, Google Maps took us on a wrong road. So those of you that may not know who this is, this is Bleepin' Colt. He's over on Bleepin' Jeep. Make sure and go check it out. We'll have a link in the description. He's very knowledgeable when it comes to Jeeps and I am very not knowledgeable. So we stopped in on our way back to Utah. We've got our JK out on the tow truck. Want to come in and see his two wheel drive XJ and see how he's doing on his bodywork. But maybe we'll be able to give him a few pointers, see what he can do to fix this thing up. Because I'm going to need a lot of advice on building a Jeep. We're going to do a little trading. Well, knowledge exchange. <laughs> so we were able to slap a sticker on. Look at that, sticker exchange. You know yes, where these are going to go? So you're right on my toolbox in my shop, right next to the band-aid that we stole. This one, though, has to go on Cherokees. That's the rule. So we'll put this on the XJ, because it is a pile of... It's a poopy box. <laughs> so you guys might remember this. This is the 46 that Matt helped Colt pull out of where? The back of a uh, auto parts store and got it running. Unfortunately, everything behind the motor is locked up and the body is in a lot worse shape than it looks on camera, shockingly <laughs> enough. Hey, but it, looks, so, it looks pretty good though. So if you guys haven't seen that, go back to Bleepin' Jeep and check that one out. We just got on the road from Bleepin' Colts. We've got a nine hour drive ahead of us. Luckily, I brought a chauffeur with me. Yes, nine hours, I can't wait. We got the kids in the back with the road snacks. We got Lunchables gonna be pretty boring for the next little while so see you in Salt Lake. We finally made it to Salt Lake. This is where me and Ernie part. He's got a three-hour drive to Idaho Falls and I have an hour and a half drive home. He was a great chauffeur Yay. but he's not for hire. But I could be half. No! <laughs> next stop, Ephraim, Utah. All right so we finally made it home at like two o'clock in the morning. We made it 2,000 miles in two days. That may not seem like a lot to some people, but with three kids, well, four kids, because Ernie had to babysit me too. That's a lot of miles and a little bit of time. Don't forget, we're gonna be selling all these parts off of this Jeep that we don't need. It's a 2010 JK Unlimited. So if you need parts, it has Dana 44s in it, front and rear, they're trussed. Don't know what gears it is, but we'll figure that out. We've got front and rear bumpers, rock sliders, and we're most likely gonna be selling the top. So anybody needs it, hit us up. 
drop us a comment. Let us know. We need to be selling this stuff so we can get parts for that awesome 69 Dodge Charger. If you enjoyed this video, don't check it. This one. Good job.